Okay, so you want to have your students turn in digital products and you're not sure how to do that. The easiest way to do that is to do it with a Google form. So you're going to go into your Google Drive and click on the Create button. And you want to create a form. You can do a lot of fancy things with forms, but we're just going to do the very most basic things so that students could turn work in. So you don't even have to choose a theme. You can make it look like whatever you want. I'm just going to choose the default and I'm going to call it Project Turn In Form. So I know what it is and say OK. Okay, so the only information that I would want from my students is their name and what period I have them and then the link to their project. So I'm going to need to create four questions. Here's the title of my form um, and I could put four thing link project if I want to. Um, okay, so I've got some options. My first question is I want to know their names and for my own peace of mind I want to have last name first. So I'm going to put last name because kids are terrible at reading directions, I always put example, press, which is my last name. Um, and then we want this just to be text. You have all of these options. Don't worry about them too much because right now we're just going simple. We just want text. Um, they're going to type their answer in, so it'll be short. This is required. We want it from them. And I'm going to say done. Then I'm going to add for their first name. Example, my first name is Sarah. Um, and that's also required question. Um, then the other information I want from them is what period I have them so that I can sort my form by period. So I'm going to add an item um, and I can say what period do you have English? Um, and they could type it in but so that they don't mess it up or type it away I don't want to see it. I'm actually going to give them choose from a list. So they're only going to get to choose one answer and so my, my options, the periods that I teach um, say I teach periods one through four. So here's period one, here's period two, here's period three, I can type whatever I want here, and here's period four. So here's the four periods of English I teach and I'm going to say this is a required question and I'm going to say done. And you'll see that this makes a drop down menu that they're going to get to choose from. So instead of typing anything they want, they choose the period. And then the last thing that I need is the link to their thing link. So I'm just going to say add item and this is going to be text because they have to paste it in and I'll say paste the address to your thing link project here and I'm going to put just because sometimes they're silly <laughs> make sure you copy the whole thing um, and it's going to be text they'll paste it in and that's also a required question that's all the information that I need from my students. And so now I'm ready to go. And again, there's all sorts of fancy things you can do. We're just going to make it be um, basic. So now um, I'm ready to, um, to share this form with my students. So I'm going to click this blue send form button. Um, and it gives me a link to share so that I can just send this to my students via school loop, via email, or I'll show you an even easier way to do it. If you do have an email list of your students, you could also paste in a student list here, but the easiest way to do it is just to take this link, to copy it, and then to send that to your students somehow. You could write this obviously on the board. A good way to do it is to go to Google um, URL shortener, which is here, goo.gl, and you can paste that long URL here and tell it to shorten it, and we'll give you something very short and easy to write on your board. So if your students type in goo.gl slash lowercase a, the number 4, capital M, the lowercase t, and the number 0, um, they'll get to this form. I tend to avoid things that have zeros and ones because they look like O's and L's, so I'm just going to say shorten again and get a different one. This one won't have those mistakes. So if your students now go to this address and they just type in um, goo.gl slash capital T, capital L, capital C, lowercase c, capital Y. I'm going to paste that in right here. They go to a form that looks like this. Okay? Um, so, say I'm a student, my name is John Smith, so my last name is Smith, my first name is John. John is in my second period English class, and his thing link is this fall of Icarus. So all he needs to do is copy the address of his thing link, Go to the project turn in form, paste it here, and say submit. Now John has turned in his um, his project to me. Let's look like uh, look at what that looks like on the teacher side. So on the teacher side, <coughs> on on my Google form, I can look at my tools. Oh, I have to choose my response destination first. So I want a new spreadsheet. It's going to be called Project Turn In Form Responses, and I'm going to say create. 
and it's going to take a second to do that. And so it's setting up something that works just like an Excel file. It's a spreadsheet, and every response to my form will show up in that, um, in that form. So I can go to Responses, and I can say View Responses. You'll see I've had one response to my form. View Responses. And here's John Smith. Here's the time he turned it in. Here's his name. He's in my second period class. And here is the link to his thing link. And if I open this up, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to put it into a window. That takes me directly to his project and I can see that project. So that's all that that's all that you need. And so say I wanted to do another form. I'm going to submit another response and this time I'm going to um, have Stacy Jones. So here's Jones. Stacy Stacy is in my first period class, and her link, she just happened to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to copy the same one. Um, so this is Stacy's project. It goes here. We say submit. And now we'll see that my, um, my responses are updated in real time, and here's Stacy Jones with her link to her project. And so eventually you would have all of your students on here, and it's really easy to just click through and see each one of those things that they've turned in. And that's it. If you want to know more about this, you can look at any tutorial about Google Forms, um, and that'll get you to the same idea of how you create a form to collect information in a Google spreadsheet. Good luck.